I, we are mixing things up. We're gonna do something slightly different. We are gonna be looking at one surfer, but instead of the surfer as such, we're gonna be looking at airs versus rail. And in order to do that, we have done a coach's eye on him before, but he sent us through some exclusive footage so that we can do this. We have got none other than the good old Ricky Bassnet. Ricky Bub. <laughs> Okay, so before we jump into the iPad and show you this, this footage which Ricky has sent through to us, um, if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, then make sure that you do also hit that notification bell. And we have got the brand new Ombi app that is out. At the time of filming this, the app has just been launched this week, so make sure that you head over, download the app. There'll be a link either above or below this video. If you've enjoyed the coach's eyes, there is so much more content within the app. It gives you access to an amazing community. You can link up with people. There's lots of really cool features. You can link up with people near you in your area. You get to find out about things that are happening in Ombi before anybody else. So head over to the app. Make sure you see, uh, go over there. And what you got to do is just register for an account. It's completely free. And then you'll get told when all this amazing content comes out. Anyway, that's enough of me getting excited about the new app. Let's, uh, let's, let's dial this in. Cue the two ways. What are we going to do? Just play it and then just talk about it afterwards? Play it, watch it. Get ready for let's this. Let's sink in. <laughs> Look, I'm holding onto the arms of my chair. That's how excited I am. Okay, here we go. Okay, so it's Ricky let's, at... Let's, 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 let's go back to the actual takeoff. Right. We're going to zoom in as well. We're going to zoom in. There we go. Here we go. Strap yourselves in. This is bonkers. Here we go. Oh, that was so high. That was amazing. Uh, right, okay, and then we, I think this one is the, the turn. The rail turn. Hang on, hang on. You're going the other way. Uh, I'm going the wrong way. Yeah, here we go. Here we go. I'm doing this to build suspense on purpose. That's the cameraman. Oh, I'm going backwards. No, I'm not going forwards. It is there, I promise you, it is coming. Here we go, yeah. here we go. Look at this. <laughs> Love that. So, those are the two things. Uh, okay. so, we, so, so, we're gonna bring the iPad back up again in a second. Here's an interesting story. A lot of Groms are all trying to do the airs. Yeah. Um, and they, I think WSL really pushed airs hard. Yep. But for me, rail surfing has so much more feeling. Mm. Um, and the funny thing, we did interview um, Ricky Basnett and he did say, well, the question I always asked him, if you could make a non-surfer feel something in surfing, what would it be? And he almost said, well, he did say to me, when you take off on a wave and you kind of lean into that bottom two and you feel the lift and the energy, yeah. he says that's the one thing that if a person's never surfed before, they need to know how that should feel. Yeah. So when Ricky was on the C10, I was making him boards. Um, I had a chat to you, Kelly Slater, because I was, I was worried about the equipment I was making him. Um, and then in that conversation, the whole topic of airs came up. Mm. And Kelly actually said, in terms of foundations, it's probably more difficult and more important to learn how to do rail surfing first. Because when you surf on rail, you're actually leaning and going sideways on your board. Yeah. Like you're using the rail to engage, kind of like wakeboarding or, or snowboarding. Yeah. Whereas when you do airs, you're standing on top of the board and it's more like, like you're going up and down, almost like being on a trampoline. And he says, people that learn how to um, surf on rail can learn how to do airs, and people that learn how to do airs sometimes find it difficult to surf on rail. Okay. Okay. Yep. So it, it, it almost takes a longer foundation to learn the rail surfing, but a quicker transition learning air, air surfing. Mm. Does that make a bit more yeah. sense? And the one thing I am going to say is for a lot of the comments that, that we see come through within the Ombi community, are, I think people prefer watching rail surfing. I know that, that don't get me wrong, airs are really exciting, but a lot of the comments that, 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 that we see that come through, people, notice, I don't know if they enjoy it so much, but well, they appreciate just, it more. Okay, so that thing about Ricky doing a good bottom turn, if you've ever done a good bottom turn, you know it's 
on the money. It just feels good. Like you can feel the energy, you feel the wave. It's and that's wave, probably right. why we surf. Yeah. Okay. So a lot of people have felt that and you can be in a flow state when you do that. However, I feel that when you do airs, it's, it's a sense of accomplishment, more like a, a, a big gymnastic move. Mm. Um, oh, don't get me wrong, I love airs. Mm. I'm not great at them. So let's, let's I would, this. I would, I would, well, personally, I would, I would love to be able to do an air at some point in time. I feel that... Uh, so, so this is a clip from... Oh, hang on. From, I mean, I'm about to bring it up. This is go. a clip let's from uh, by, um, Darren Symes at Ricky's home break. Now, right there, there's the lean. See, he's got his coffee cup out. Yeah, yeah, let's, let's, let's zoom in a little bit here. Look at that. Okay. So he's at the bottom of the wave. That is a heavily committed turn. Yeah. It's a well overhead size wave. Yeah. Okay. So look at how he holds it. We just did one of Nathan Hedge, and the key is to get your board on rail and to hold it. Yeah. So Ricky, look at the angle of leaning. If that's 90 degrees, what... Yeah. You know, what angle is that at? That's like 30 degrees, isn't it? Yeah, his chest is right over. Now, the big difference there is that a lot of people bend their backs and they fake a lean. He's fully committed. Ooh, hang on. Let me pause you right there. Okay, so a lot they of, bend their backs and they fake a so lean. So a lot of people, their boards are flat and their backs are like that. So are you talking? Let me go full screen. If I stand up, Choco's not behind me, is he? Oh, Choco, the dog's right behind me. Check that out. I'm gonna have to do a weird squeezy out. So, so when you say, so obviously Ricky is, I can't do it because I'm not moving, but he's bent right over. When you say fake lean, what do you mean? They, this? Yeah, so your feet are flat. Okay. Lean over so that your, your heels lean off the ground. Actually move further back and just lean all your weight on that surfboard bag. There. Put your elbow on the surfboard bag. No, your elbow, your elbow. <laughs> a good video, but suddenly it just topples over. Put your elbow. No, your bum's still out. Okay. Lean on the board bag. There. See the difference? So that's, that's me leaning on rail yeah. versus when I was doing it just a second ago. So that, that, that's me faking a lean. Well, bend your back a bit more. Take your hand off the board bag. Yeah. Both my hands on You're in balance. Hand. You're in balance. You're not leaning. So your head and your hips have counteracted each other. Oh, okay. So, so you're flat. I've actually got to adjust my knee as well. To, for, for me to lean like that, I've actually got to adjust my knee. Yeah, there we go. You're leaning over. Yeah. Now bear in mind, Ricky, He's almost got his chest on the floor. Yeah, I'm not going to try and do that on camera. So um, the point being is the commitment to that turn yeah. is huge. Now he holds it. Now see how the hand flings back? That's kind of a bit of a fine tune. So while he's leaning, he's got his eyes on the target and doesn't need more turn, doesn't he, does he need less turning. Mm -hmm. So the, the whip behind is almost getting the fin to kind of, at the last minute, just twist and it happens when he starts slowing down okay it gives you a little extra burst of speed and it's a bit of fine tuning now, a bit like a spring winding up yeah? yes okay now the flat surfers they will take off and they will throw their hand back almost here and try to fine tune the turn too early okay yep and if they flat often the board slides out they fall off and um they don't quite hit their mark Whereas Ricky holds the turn, holds the turn. Now he sees his target. There's the arm back. And then look at the pinky going forward and up. All right. And then what do you think he sees there? Look at the commitment back to the foam ball. Sees me clapping from the shore. Okay. Now look at this. This is what I'm interested in. If he was just taking off, wouldn't that be your line to drop in on? Yeah. Okay. To give you the most amount of speed. Okay, yeah. Okay, now think of water flowing. So all this water that's flowing down that wave, which way is it flowing? On that line towards the beach. Towards the beach, yeah. Okay, so a lot of people cut the turn short and then want to go back that way, and they go against the flow of water. So it's yep. important that like guys like John John, all the guys who are doing these mm. big turns, yeah. they follow the, th the, th the flow of water, mm -hmm. and in doing so, they're displacing more water, and the illusion of speed is... is huge and the illusion of power, the, of power is bigger mm -hmm. because they're displacing so much more water. So that was incredible. Yeah. All right, let's go. To the air. To the air. Which should be that one. Okay. So I'm, I'm pretty interested in this. Okay, so notice that the bottom turn is not as deep. 
And now that I was, I was going to say, now that, now that you've broken down that other video, his bottom turn looks different. Yeah, because he's trying to go up, it's, it's a lot more shallower. It's not nearly as deep. Mm. Okay? And also the hands, they're, they're closer to his body because yeah. he wants to jump. Okay. Okay? Now, he, he almost airs from there. Okay, he hasn't so, hit the lip yet. Okay, so this is this this is something that Clayton said to me before in the past. And I'm so glad that we're doing this because I'm hoping that he's going to explain it in a bit more detail. But you've said to me you don't you start the air at the, about the middle of the wave, not at the top of the wave, because I think everyone thinks you get to the top of the wave and then you do an air. But you're saying to me, or you said to me in the past, that the air starts a lot earlier. Okay, so so think of it this way: um, imagine you're dancing with a partner mm -hmm. and you want to pick them up. So they jump, and then at the top of their jump, you lift. Or no, it's like a combined effort. Or as soon as you lift, you lift together. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so think about this. Water, I'll do it in a blue arrow, is, is lifting up here. It's sucking up the face. Mm -hmm. So at the point where, where the water's sucking up the most, Ricky lifts. Okay, if he had a lifted here in the lip, the lip's throwing that way. Oops, sorry. The lip is throwing that way. So as he goes up, the board will get flipped away from him. Mm -hmm. And he would almost do an air without a surfboard. So in other words, where the wave lifts up, Ricky airs. Yep. Okay. So the air's already done. He clears the lip and he's going up. That was insane. Okay. Now. <laughs> Did he go so high? You'll notice that he's doing a lunge. Do you see that? You'll yeah. also notice that his back is straight. Yep, his back is straight. Okay, which means he's on top of his board. Mm -hmm. Okay, which means he's flat on top of the board. So his bottom turn was a lot more flatter. His top turn was a lot more flatter. Yep. Okay, where his rail game, where he's leaning, and then he's banking and kind of leaning off the top turn a bit more. Um, and his board's going kind of toe edge rail, heel edge rail. There's a, there's a massive difference. Yeah. So the, the big thing about surfing, and this is kind of the question about it, you can see when he lands, he lands a bit flat over there and kind of rides it out backwards, which is just freaking next level. <laughs> Looking where he's going, he's, he's, he's a freak. Okay, so... So, if, yeah, so obviously you, you, you... So you said to me, I want to do these videos of airs versus rails. What are our takeaways? What is it that we need to take as surfers into the water, whether we're, whether we're beginners, intermediates, or, 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 or looking to go from that intermediate to that higher intermediate or advanced? What do we need to take away? Okay, so if you go to D-Bar on any given day, you're yep. seeing 10-year-old kids doing airs. Yep. How many are you, of them are you seeing doing Ricky turns or John John turns, power turns? Now, bear in mind, power is just on rail from the top of the wave to the bottom of the wave. Yeah, not many, because okay. they're all going for the air. Okay, then their styles are looking compromised. They don't look stylish while they're surfing flat hopping. I'd, I, the, so, so what I would say is it looks very fast twitch. Very, it's very twitchy kind of stuff. Do you know why? Because they're using their bodies more than they're using the wave's energy to give them speed. Yeah. Okay, and that's when surfing kind of looks a bit sour. So... There's very few surfers, but there's those few, like, like a Torrin Martin, for example, who's just got style. Yeah. So he's feeling the wave energy and he's surfing on rail. So I think as your first port of call, you need to understand the wave, use the wave, and learn how to lean and how to generate speed from the wave, how to control speed from mm. the wave. This is not once just your you've words. got that down, this is from Kelly, Kelly Slater. Slater, yeah. And once you've got that down, progress to your airs. And you can learn airs from just going skateboarding and if you can do an ollie, you can pretty much do a basic air. I think I can do an ollie. Yeah. Give me your airs. Cool. Okay, so big takeaway from Ricky. Go. No, what are your takeaways? Well, I say the same thing every single time. It's about, um, he's always re he always looks, looks really relaxed in his surfing. So it's, it's my standard stock answer. I know every single video I say that, that so being relaxed. But if we're going to look at it from, from here, it would be he's really good at picking his line. Really good at picking his line. Okay, you want to say something else? Yes. Go. Okay. <laughs> Bring the iPad back up again. Check out this air. All right, so Ricky's chin is looking up. Let's just look at the chin. 
Look at the board angle. See that? Yeah. Then he goes for the air, mid face. Look at the chin. Look at the board angle. Lands it. Look at the chin's level. He's looking for the landing already. His hands are level. Yeah, so he's going to whoop. Okay, so look, look, level, level, level. Rides it out backwards. Still keeps looking where he's going. He, he, right. he, and and he, it looks like he was looking to level up again. Leveling up. Okay, so when he's doing these crazy big moves, look how quiet and how level everything is so that he can land it. Yeah. So that is probably the biggest takeaway. When you're in a compromised position that makes you uncomfortable, relax, look where you want to go, keep your chin level, keep your back straight, keep your hands up. All right. So big takeaway there. But then if we went to the, the rail surfing, you got to commit and don't be flat. Yeah, commit you want to be leaning on your rail and, mm -hmm. and much longer, bigger toe and heel edge. Yeah. Yeah, amazing. So uh, look, if, I would also highly recommend that you check out uh, Ricky Bassnett's uh, Instagram page as well. Uh, not only is he an amazing surfer, he's a character. He's, huh? he's, he's definitely a good, uh, good character to follow. Some very entertaining uh, and, and also quite uh, deep and meaningful uh, posts that he puts up on, on, on Instagram. Obviously, we're massive fans. Uh, obviously, well, well, Clay knows him. So, uh, so it goes without saying that he is a truly, truly good bloke. Uh, thanks for tuning in. Make sure that you subscribe to the channel. Also, make sure you check out the Ombi app. Check out the Ombi app. Loads of really cool free stuff in there. And you can also find out about our paid programs as well. But we'll see you in the next episode of Coach's Eye.